What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a J cut or an L cut in Vegas Pro 15. Now L cuts and J cuts are used all over the place, they're in movies, they're with YouTubers and they are also in TV shows. TV shows that use it are Walking Dead, YouTubers that use it, Casey Neistat. So I've put together um, a shot of AT&T Stadium and I put some background noise to it. And then I also have concert footage. I put a background of um, people cheering and I also put some music over it to make a concert feel. So I'm just gonna play a little bit through for you. So that's what we have. The first one I'm gonna be showing you is the J cut. Now with the J cut, the music or the audio that is on the right hand side will be introduced during this clip while this is showing. So it's really simple to do. Now, when you have your audio, it's most likely gonna be linked to your video. If that is the case, just select it. If you have multiple audio tracks, hold control and select the other one and press U on your keyboard. This separates it so they are now free. Now, same with the clip on the left, press U on your keyboard and we're gonna drag this back a bit. So you can see at the top there where that arrow is, it's saying two seconds, and that's how long I'm gonna be having it as well. I'm then going to drag both of these back from the uh, tracks here, just like this. And if your audio is synced with your video, you can see mine isn't, this will keep everything in the same place. So if you are doing a concert, for example, the uh, lip reading won't be off. This part is almost done. We're now going to fade in the uh, music and the crowd, and we're gonna fade out the park sound effects. So we're simply gonna drag this over I'm going to do, there we go, just 20 frames. And then I'm also going to fade in 20 frames on the music. So now if I play this through, this is what we'll get. The park is going to be playing, the park sound effects are going to be playing. And then while the park sound effects is playing, the music and the crowd is going to come into play for two seconds. And then the concert music or the concert video will show. So if I play this through from here, this is what we get. So that is the J cut. Now, why is it a J cut? Well, if you see here where we split, there is the line. And if we come down and take a left, it creates a J where the um, audio is overlapping. So that's a J cut, super simple to do. Now I'll show you a L cut. So coming across up here for the L cut, I'm going to be doing this a different way. So the crowd or the rap is going to be first, and then we're going to go to the AT&T park. So this time for the L cut, what we're going to be doing is the opposite. So everything on the left is going to overlap with everything on the right, and the sound on the right will be introduced later on. So once again, I'm going to press U to separate everything like this and I'm going to drag this across two seconds like last time. Now it doesn't have to be two seconds, this is just how I have it. And then I'm going to drag this across and create a 20 frame fade like last time, like that. And then also the music I'm going to drag across and fade it out like that. So once again, I'm going to play this through and we have just like that created an L cut. So playing it through. just like that. Now the park sound effects are super quiet, that's why you can't even see any audio waves, but at the beginning of the video you saw the examples, they are the same videos I have just created now, so you know how it turns out in the end. So why is this called an L cut? Well once again if we come to the middle, we come down, we take a right, you can see it creates an L. So that's why this is an L cut, and that's why the other one is a J cut. But they're super simple to do, they're also super effective, you can use them for literally any type of videos, and I do recommend you use them if you can use them in a creative way. Don't overuse them though. <laughs> 